Hey everyone, back again with another Flutter tutorial. And today's session, we will look into how to implement swipeable button view animation in our Flutter app. And what we have here is basically a simple example of the same. We have made use of one such package known as swipeable button view. With the help of this package, you will be able to create this nice looking swipeable button here in our Flutter app. And as you can see here, upon successful swipe, it is going to take us to the next page with the simple animation over the navigation. And here in the next page, we have set the background color, which is in sync with the button color. And the second page is going to have only one Lottie animation, which is placed right at the center. Nothing much. Okay. So this is basically what this swipeable button view is going to do. We have a nice looking swipeable button view, which on successful swipe is going to navigate us to the second page. So this is basically what we are about to discuss in this video. Hence, without any further delay, let's directly dive into the video and get started. Now before getting started, we need to add 3 dependencies in our plus spec. Therefore, let's head over to the plus spec the OML file. And here inside this file, try adding these 3 dependencies. One is the page transition. Second is going to be the Lottie which will help us implement the Lottie animation in our Flutter app. And third is going to be the swipeable button view. So make sure you add these 3 dependencies and also check for the latest version. Now after adding these 3 dependencies in our plus spec, let's head over to the main.dat file. Here in the main data file, we have the home pointing to home page and the home page is nothing but a stateful widget class with an empty scaffold. Let's start building up the UIs. First, let's create a boolean variable called is finish which will keep track of the swipeable button view actions. And here inside the scaffold, wherein you see the body, we have a few spacing followed by the center, we define the swipeable button view. So this widget we get as a result of installing the package. And this swipeable button view widget is going to accept few parameters including the required as well as the optional parameters. Starting with the first parameter which is going to be the button text. Basically the text which you want to be placed inside the button. I have specified it as slide to pay. And if you need it you can also customize the button text style. Here I have specified the font size as 25 and set the color as white. Followed by which we have the on waiting process callback which is basically the amount of time which is going to elapse between the navigation. Here I have made use of the future.delayed method where I have specified the delay as 2 seconds. Only after the delay of 2 seconds, it is going to take us to the next page. Until then we will see the circular progress indicator. Followed by which we have the isFinish parameter where we specify the isFinish as the variable which you already defined. So after a delay of 2 seconds, we will toggle the isFinish variable as true. So this will set as true and once it is set as true, it will call this function which is on finish. Here inside the on finish callback function, we will specify the navigation which typically takes us to the second page. Here it is the confirmation page. Followed by the navigation, we try to reset the is finish boolean variable. With this, it will be able to create a swipeable button view. Now let's start by creating this confirmational page. Here in order to create controller, we need to make use of the ticket provided state mixin. Followed by which, let's start by creating the animation controller. And inside the init state, let's try to initialize the controller. And similarly, in the dispose state, let's try to dispose the animation controller. Here inside the scaffold, let's specify the background color as the some kind of green shade, which is more likely in synchronous with the button color. Followed by which, at the body, we have a center widget. Let's make use of the lottie.asset method, which we get as a result of installing the lottie package in the plus spec. And we need to pass in the relative path of the asset. I have added the lottie animation here inside the assets slash images folder so i have specified the same over here and say the relative path as well and we need to specify the controller which we already initialized at the very top followed by a few other arguments we need to also customize the unloaded callback where we make use of the animation controller forward method to trigger the animation okay so this is basically what the second page of the confirmation page will look like upon successful navigation so basically this is how you can create a swipeable button view with help of the swipeable button view package so upon successful swipe, it is going to load the circular progress indicator for few seconds and after which it is going to make use of the on finish callback which takes us directly to the confirmation page. On the confirmation page, we have a single lot animation which is placed right in the center. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you do so, consider subscribing and I will see you again in the next one.